I'm Spencer Fields at Energy Sage, and I'm going to answer some of the top questions we're hearing about from California homeowners about net metering three and what it means for you. Net metering three is the brand new solar policy in California that changes the way that solar exports are compensated. Basically, it reduces the value that you'll receive for sending solar to the grid by about 75 to 80 percent. That means your net 20 year savings from going solar will be reduced by 60%, which could be tens of thousands of dollars for the typical solar customer in California. Even though solar savings are changing in California, there is still some good news. You still have time to lock in higher solar savings rates in California by getting in a completed interconnection application by April 14th at 5 p.m. Pacific. That means that you need to get started right away if you're interested in going solar by receiving quotes, signing a contract, and getting all the paperwork signed, sealed, and delivered in time before the deadline. Net metering 3 only changes the solar savings rates for new solar, so if you have existing solar panels on your home or business, this is good news. It means it doesn't impact your existing net metering plan, but you'll remain on for the full 20 year term after your original interconnection date. Net metering three only impacts customers within the three investor owned utilities in California. So PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric, SCE, SoCal Edison, and SD Chain, San Diego Gas and Electric. If you are on a municipal utility like Los Angeles Department of Water and Power or the Sacramento Municipal Utility District, NEM3 does not impact you. However, if you are on a community choice aggregator, if that's who you get your bill through, you probably will still be impacted by NEM3. It depends on the utility that serves your power supply. That is the entity that will be the program administrator for net metering, and that's why you'll still be impacted by the changing in the solar savings rates. So go solar sooner. If you already have solar or are interested in installing solar on your own, but aren't yet ready to install a battery, don't worry. If you install a battery at a later date, after net metering three goes into effect, you will still be grandfathered onto your existing net metering program. So you can get in an application before the net metering three deadline in mid-April and then install a battery some years down the road without it impacting your NEM2 status. All you need to do before the April 14th deadline is submit the paperwork included in a completed interconnection application. You don't have to have installed your entire solar panel system in the next couple months. Instead, you have three years from the date that you file your interconnection application to complete the solar installation for your home.